press and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just enjoying this densely packed soft drink and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, If you change the density of an object, will it float? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a container, some water, and a diet and regular soda. Okay, start by getting yourself a container. Does it have to be this exact container right here? No, any container that holds a good amount of water will be perfect. Cause see, I know there's like a hundred of you out there who are gonna be like, can I, can I substitute this for that? Can I, can I substitute that for this? Can I use a banana instead of a car engine? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, you're gonna take this, and you're gonna fill it with water. Okay, so now that your container, bucket, or sink is full of water, you're gonna get yourself a regular and diet container of soda. We're gonna start with the regular soda. You're gonna drop your regular soda into the water. Okay, so the first one's set, which means this one probably will do. Whoa, now check that out. The diet one floats. Now what's going on here? They're both the same size and both the same shape. Shouldn't they both sink or both float? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You might think that the only reason something floats or sinks is based upon how much fluid it displaces or the shape of the object that's placed in a fluid, but it also depends on the density of the object as well. Since both cans take up the same amount of volume, but only one floats, the answer to why one floats and the other doesn't has to do with the density of the liquid inside the cans. You might think that the diet soda floats because it has more bubbles or CO2 gas dissolved in the can, but both cans have about the same amount of carbonation. The reason the diet soda floats and the regular soda sinks is because the regular soda has about 43 grams of acetate dissolved, whereas the diet soda only has about four grams of acetate dissolved per can. Since the regular soda has more particles dissolved in the same amount of space as the diet, this makes the regular soda more dense than the water surrounding it, and it sinks. Since the diet soda is less dense than the water surrounding it, the diet soda floats. Believe it or not, if you change the density of an object that sinks, you can make that object float in a fluid. So now you know it's not just the shape or size, but also the density distribution of the object. You know, being able to float or sink a few cans of soda is why science is so cool.